After William McKinley, the 25th president of the United States, was elected in 1896, his administration appointed hundreds of African Americans to post masterships across the southern United States. Local white folks did not approve and resented any black office holder. They felt black men with more political power would be emboldened to entice white women. Fraser B. Baker, a 40-year-old school teacher, husband, and father of six children, was appointed postmaster of Lake City, South Carolina in 1897. He immediately encountered fierce resistance to his hiring by local whites. They boycotted the post office and started a petition for his dismissal. They said he cut mail deliveries down from three per day to one a day. This was because of increased threats to his life. In one instance, Baker was shot in the shoulder as he left the post office. Another time, the post office was shot up. Residents accused him of being incompetent, rude, and lazy. Federal inspectors investigated the accusations and found them to be untrue. They decided to close the post office because of racial tensions. This resulted in the locals burning the post office to the ground. The government acquired a new location on the outskirts of town in hopes of calming racial tensions. Baker then sent for his family. The locals remained bitter and hostile to Baker, and he communicated that to the postal officials in Washington. On February 22, 1898, his wife Lavinia awoke at 1 a.m. to their house set on fire, which also served as the post office. The fire had been set by a lynch mob. Lavinia woke up Baker, and Baker sent his oldest son to go get help, and he attempted to put the fire out. His son was met with gunfire as he opened the door. Baker immediately pulled him back in and cursed at the mob. He then began to pray. As flames intensified, he said to Lavinia, Might as well die running as standing still. As they gathered the children and prepared to make a run for it, his two-year-old daughter, Julia, was struck by a bullet, killing her as Lavinia held her in her arms. The same bullet wounded Lavinia in her arm. When Baker realized his youngest daughter was dead, he swung open the door and was met with gunfire being hit in the head and falling to the ground. Lavinia got the rest of the children and fled the house through the back as her husband and daughter lay dead in the burning house. She escaped to a neighbor's house, meeting up with the rest of her children. Three of her children were wounded and two others were unharmed. Daughters Rosa and Cora were each shot through the arm, and son Lincoln was shot in the arm and in the stomach. Frazier and Julia's remains were burnt beyond recognition. The local white newspaper insensitively reported that they had been cremated in the flames. The black community of South Carolina was outraged. They had meetings and petitioned the federal government to do something. In April 1899, federal prosecutors tried 13 white men for conspiring against Baker. However, an all-white jury failed to convict any of the perpetrators. Lavinia moved to Boston, Massachusetts with her children. The surviving Baker children fell victim later on to a tuberculosis epidemic, with four children, William, Sarah, Lincoln, and Cora, all dying from the disease between the years 1908 and 1920. Lavinia's surviving child, Rosa Baker, died in 1942 of a heart attack. Lavinia moved back to South Carolina, where she later died in 1947. In 2019, the Lake City Post Office was renamed to honor Fraser Baker, thanks to congressional legislation first put forward by U.S. Representative James Clyburn. Fraser Baker's great niece, the late Dr. Faustinia Baker, had these words to say: "We would be remiss if we didn't recognize that we are coming close to 121 years since the painful event against Fraser and the other members of the family. We, as a family, are glad that the recognition of this painful event finally happened. It's long overdue." This is the story of Postmaster Fraser Baker. And your future just might change. The past, the present, the problems, the issues. Ain't nobody us. Look at what we've been through. The heart of a king, the blood of a slave, laying unmarked graves, ain't never been paid.